so you'll you get a message there and and we're going to start by sharing my screen with you all and if when i'm talking you have any questions do unmute yourselves and then i will uh uh be able to take your question don't don't send me a chat message because i don't normally have time to look at that but this is the topic today it's an introduction to transfers in response to one no trump and two no trump and it's covered in the green book on pages 136 to 137. So if you have that book, you can read through, uh, read through them there. And what we're going to talk about is what is a transfer bid, what are the advantages and disadvantages of them, and how to, uh, how to use them. And even if at the end of this talk you decide you don't want to play transfers yet, it's not a bad idea for you to understand how they work because you'll come across them on BBO and so forth. So here is um, an example where West opens a balanced hand with one no trump that shows 12 to 14 points. And East here should be thinking in terms of playing in a spade contract, in two spades. Now, with only five points, I know some people think, well, why not just pass? But the answer is that you'll probably do better if you can play this in two spades than in one no trump. In one no trump, you might struggle to get to take all those spade tricks because you have very few entries to these hands. So generally speaking, you're better off playing this in two spades. Now, if you were not playing transfers, you would just sign off in two spades, two of a suit in response to one no trump is a, a weak bid, a shutout bid. But if you're playing transfers, instead of bidding two spades, you bid two hearts. And the two heart bid is an instruction to your partner to bid two spades, which you will then pass. So you, um, the, the two heart bid is an artificial bid, and it tells your partner, please bid two spades. Um, and you could also, uh, you can also do this if you have a five card heart suit, you bid two diamonds, which is a transfer to two hearts. Um, so these are the two transfer bids. Two diamonds is a transfer to two hearts. It promises at least five hearts. Two hearts is a transfer to two spades, and it promises at least five spades. And it can be used on a hand that's relatively weak like this, or it can be used on a stronger hand. We'll look at all those examples in a minute. So Do Tony, you agree at the beginning that you either play a, a weak takeout or transfer. Yes. You, you must, can't, you can't must. Mix and match. No, that's right. So whenever I'm playing you know, with someone filling in, the first question I always ask them is, do you play transfers? Um, and that, that's the main question that you'll, you'll find in, you know, depending on the level you're playing, uh, as you go up, more and more people will play transfers and lots of other systems as well. But you must agree it in advance. OK. Um, and it's also known as red suit transfers because this is transfers from the red suits, diamonds and hearts into the next suit up. So before we go into the details of it, I just wanted to go through some of the advantages and disadvantages of playing transfers. So in the previous hand, you will get to the same final contract, but they allow the stronger hand to become declared. So that's a slight advantage. And there also is an advantage that they allow you to make an invitational bid, invitational to gain that is, when you have um, a hand with a five or a six card major suit. So we'll look at how you do, how you make that invitation bid. But they do have some disadvantages. It means you can no longer sign off in two diamonds. So um, two diamonds would normally be a shutout bid, but playing transfers, you can't stop in two diamonds anymore. Um, and the other big disadvantage of them is that there is a risk of you or your partner forgetting them or getting mixed up. And I do see this happen quite a bit. Um, 
However, most um, a good bridge players, most advanced bridge players do pay transfers, and it's certainly something you should be aware of and you should consider uh, whether you want to play them or not. So how do transfers work? Work Well, basically, you keep the two-club bid in response to one though Trump as Stamen, asking if you've got a four-card major. You use the two-diamond bid as a transfer to hearts, the two-heart bid as a transfer to spades, and the two-spade bid doesn't really have a use um, here, but we do have a use for it, which we will um, cover at a later point. Okay? Do interrupt me if you have a question about this. This business... Hey, sorry, it's, it's Mohini. Can I just ask a question? You would only do transfers if you had five cards. Is that correct? Yes, yes. So you a transfer promises at least a five-card major. You, if, you, if all you've got is four-card majors, then maybe you're going to use stamen, which will uncover a 4-4 four, four bit. Okay? So let's have a look at examples of uh, using transfers. This is one very similar to the one we looked at uh, at the beginning. Uh, one no trump, and here you want to play this in two spades. So you bid two hearts, your partner bids two spades, and you pass. And there may be some advantage here that your partner gets to play the hand. Um, maybe they'll lead something that will help your partner. If they perhaps lead a diamond, that might be good for your partner. Um, here, so that's a transfer with a, a, a six-card suit. You should also transfer if you have a five-card suit, because um, a lot of the time your partner will have three or more um, cards for you. Even if they don't, you may find you did quite well in two hearts here, rather than letting your partner play it in one no trump. So it should go one no trump, two diamonds, uh, and your partner bids two hearts, which you will pass. And you might think, gosh, with only three points, isn't it a bit reckless to be bidding here? Shouldn't I just pass one no trump? But the answer is you'll probably do better playing in two hearts than you would do in one no trump here, because you are so weak. In fact, the weaker your hand, the more desirable it is to play in a suit, in a suit contract um, rather than uh, playing it in one no trump. Tony, yep. it's Jackie. Jackie here. Hello. Why can't why hey why can't the partner just say straight off two spades or two hearts? You mean why doesn't he bid? You mean why doesn't he bid two spades or two hearts? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what you have done up to this point. But you've got to remember that other procedure. I mean, he could have just kicked off straight away with two spades or he could have just kicked off straight away with two hearts you mean of... respond responded in, in yeah, two hearts yeah, yeah yeah right so basically what's the advantage well as i said in the, in the previous slide there are i'll go back to it there there are two advantages um you get the stronger hand being declarer and they also allow you to make an invitational bid when you have when you want to invite game and have a five or six card major and I haven't explained that yet, okay? But those are the advantages of playing transfers, okay? So uh, if you decide, you know, that you don't want to play transfers, you don't have to. And in those cases, you would, on these two hands, you would just respond two spades or two hearts. And you would have agreed with your partner that you are not playing transfers, okay? Um Let's have a look at other hands where you will play, uh, where, where you will use a transfer bid. Basically, you're going to use a transfer bid on nearly all hands where you have a five or a six card major. Here, you've got a six card uh, spade suit. So you bid two hearts. That's a command to your partner to bid two spades. And now what do you think he should bid on this hand? Four spades. Four. Four spades, yeah. You you know, because your partner over one no trump, that they've got at least two cards in every suit. So the worst will be that they only have um, two spades. But in even in that case, you've got an eight-card fit, and you're better off playing in spades than in one no trump. 
So knowing you've got enough points for gain, you would just jump to four spades on that one. Okay. Sorry, Tony, can I quickly ask a question? It's a money. Yeah. yeah. You know, when, the, when you're bidding like one or trump, two hearts, I know your, your partner probably thinks you've got five spades and can he, can he jump straight to four? Or you have to complete the bid for the transfer bid and then yeah. the next person has to do it. Yeah, the um, the two heart bid is a, is an instruction for West to bid two spades. So okay. West West should bid two spades, um, even without looking at their hand. They they okay. must they must bid two spades. Don't think of bidding anything else like four spades because your partner might be planning to play it in two spades. You don't know what what what, what your partner is up to. So just always bid two spades, and if it helps. Um, close your eyes when you bid two spades, <laughs> all right? Just bid two spades. Um, or here is a transfer involving uh, uh, a transfer to hearts. You bid two diamonds. That's a command for your partner to bid two hearts. And with a six-card suit, you jump to four hearts. Okay. So that's transfers with a strong hand and a six-card major. Tony, now, I'll, yeah. Please, if yeah. you're... If, if you're saying one note trump, um, two, uh, two diamonds, your partner says two hearts, jumping to four hearts, do you have a minimum point count as well on that? Well, it's and enough points for game. So your partner may have 12 to 14 points. So if you yeah. have but 10 points, so that's 22. Ten, you... ten, 10 would not be enough, probably. Would not be enough. But yeah. if you had 11 or 12... Um, so, 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 for example, I'll, I'll deal with that example. So, if East on this second hand here was a little bit weaker, suppose you only had, um, say, eleven or twelve points, then when your partner bids two hearts, you could invite game by bidding three hearts, okay. and that would tell your partner that you've got, you know, not quite enough, and it would be up to them to decide uh, whether to go on. That's great. Thank you. All right. Here's a, another use of transfers. This time you only have a five card um, major, but nonetheless you bid transfer, use a transfer bid here. So here it goes one no trump, two hearts and transfer to spades. And now you want to tell your partner you've got enough points for game. By the way, I've only got exactly a five card spade suit. And you do that by transferring to spades and then rebidding three no trump. And that tells your partner exactly what you've got. You've got enough points for game. You only have five spades, and you're giving your partner a choice of bids. Here, your partner has three spades for you, so knows there's an eight-card pick, so should go back to four spades, should bid four spades here, rather than leaving you in three no trump. But if, uh, a second example here, here you transfer to hearts and then bid three no trump. Um, but here West has only got two hearts for you. So they know you're showing a five card suit and they've only got two. So they don't have an eight card heart bit. So they would actually pass three no trump and leave it in three no trump. Any comments on that? Um, and here's another um, situation where you can use transfers. And this is one situation that allows you to make an invitational bid. This is something you can't really do unless you are playing transfers. What you do on a hand like this is after one no trump, you bid two hearts, which is transfer to two spades. And now you invite game and say, partner, I've got a five card uh, spade suit by rebidding two no trump. So now your partner knows you're inviting game. You've probably got 11 or 12 points and a five card major. And what do you think West should bid here? Anyone like to... Uh, Pass. Pass. pass, yeah, pass, yeah. Where should pass here because they they don't they don't have a fit in spades. They've only got seven up in spades. They're a minimum hand, and so they would pass. Um, 
but if I um, change the West hand, so the East hand is the same here, but it's got one no trump, two hearts, two spades, two no trump. Now West is a maximum, so wants to accept that invitation and would either bid three no trump here, but here, because he knows his partner's got a five card spade suit, should actually accept the invitation and bid four spades, because you've got an eight card fit in spades. Okay, so th that shows an example of hand one where you decline the invitation just by in two hearts, or another where you accept the invitation with a maximum and actually go back to spades because you have an eight card fit there. Any comments on that? So this this page, if you like, summarizes the kind of bidding you can't really do if you're not playing transfers. You can't really invite game. You either have to, um, you know, you can invite game by bidding two no trump, let's say, but you can't invite game and show that you've got uh, a five card major. Do interrupt me if you um, don't get any of this. So this page actually is one you would do well to study because it shows the summary of transfer responses to one no trump. So if you look at the top left hand corner here, we'll see that if your partner opens one no trump, if you have five or six hearts but have a weak hand, you generally want to play it in uh, your heart so you transfer to two hearts and then pass. If you have 11 to 12 points, you transfer to hearts and then invite game. If you have a six card suit, you invite game by bidding three hearts. If you have a five card suit, you invite game by bidding two no trump. And then if you have enough points for game, then you transfer to hearts and then bid either four hearts or bid three no trump to give your partner a choice of the final option. OK, so this sort of summarizes um, the, the main use of transfers and how you differentiate between intermediate, strong and weak hands. Tony, it's Mohini. Can I just ask a question? Yes, please do. In terms of the final, the final contract, does that lie with the opener or the responder or it doesn't? What's what's your view on that? Well, there are some of these bidding sequences where the final contract lies with the responder. For example, this one on the right here, where it goes two hearts, four hearts. That's it. You've decided. And then there's the one below it where it's gone two dimes, two hearts, three, no trump, where, you're, where the opener has a chance to either pass that or bid four hearts. He knows that you've shown exactly five cards by bidding this way in hearts and if he's got three or more he'll go to four hearts so it depends is the answer in some situations you've decided what the contract is in other situations your partner has another um, chance to bid again okay thank you okay tony can yeah. i just ask a question yeah. what happens if you've got two five card majors okay um I don't think I'm going to go into that today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the, the, there's there's a further topic about how you bid hands where you've got five and four card suits. Oh, uh, right. And I, I'm not going to go uh, into that. Okay. Um, but um, you, you can you can show that in in oh. in different ways. But it's it's a little bit beyond what what this topic is, which is sort of meant to be an introduction to to try. <laughs> And also, presumably, you can't use it if somebody else is bidding in between. Yeah, I'll talk about that in a minute, but okay. that's right. If there's interference over the one no trump, either a, a double or a suit over call, transfers are off. And okay. although most people don't forget about transfers in themselves, what they do get muddled up is if there's interference. One okay. person thinks they're still playing transfers and the other one doesn't. So oh. that's where you can go wrong. Okay, thank okay. you. So the other thing I want to talk about is transfers in response to two no trump. And that works very similarly. Um, after two no trump, which shows a balanced hand with 20 to 22 points, if you have uh, six points and a six card spade suit, 
you bid three hearts, your partner bids three spades, and you bid four spades. And that does have a slight advantage that the stronger hand there will be declarer. That may help um, in terms of the opening lead. It's not guaranteed to help, but it will help in some situations. Or if you have a five card suit, here you bid three diamonds as a transfer to three hearts. And what should East now rebid? Anyone like to tell me? How do you show that you have started with a five card heart suit? Three no trump. Yeah, three no trump is the right bid there. Um, and that says, partner, I had five hearts to start with, but West will uh, bid four hearts here because they've got three card support for their partner's hearts. And I hope you can see four hearts is probably going to be a good contract to be in rather than three no trump, which might struggle if the opponents need a diamond, for example. Okay, so <clears throat> transfer responses in response to two no trump are very similar, but obviously you're one level higher. And this was um, uh, alluded to earlier. Um, because these are artificial bids, they should all be, uh, the transfer bid should all be alerted or announced. Um, uh, so announced are, are basically you, you say what the bid is. Now, in fact, um, the one no Trump opening bid is also meant to be announced. If you're playing in um, you know an English Bridge Union rules game, you're meant to announce the one no Trump uh, as a, the point range. Um, and the two heart bid, which is a transfer to spades, is announced as a transfer to spades. Okay, so... I'm assuming, Tony, the announce, person who announces is the responder, not the opener. Well, I'll talk about that in a moment. Okay. Um, and then similarly, in response to two no Trump, which is announced, the three diamond bid is announced as a transfer to hearts. And if you're playing on BBO, you alert or announce your own bids. But if you're playing in face-to-face -face bridge, or if you're playing on real bridge, then your partner um, announces or alerts your bid. So um, in some ways, the BBO system is better because you make your own, own announcement. Your partner doesn't see it, but assumes you have alerted or announced correctly. But in real bridge or face-to-face -face bridge, it's your partner who makes the uh, announcement. So sorry it's a bit complicated, but those are the rules that we've, um, we've got at the moment. Uh, and I'll, 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 I'll show you in a moment how you actually alert or announce, because I, I think some people on BBO are not very good at that at the moment. Yeah, sorry, Mahini. No, it's Linda. Oh, Linda, sorry. Um, uh, um, do you only announce one no trump if you're playing transfers? No. So the one no trump opening bid is always meant to be announced. I know most of you probably oh, don't do okay. it. But no. if you're playing, well, obviously, if it's a friendly game, it doesn't really matter. But um, if you're playing on... Um, on an EBU game, you are meant to um, announce the range of the one that Trump bid as well. Um, the other one thing I want to say about transfers is this only applies in response to um, one no Trump and two no Trump. In all other situations, your bids are natural, right? So we're not saying that hearts always mean spades. That's only in response to uh, one no Trump opening bids. Mm. And mm. as someone was asking earlier, Transfers are off if there is an intervening bid. So, for example, if um, it went one no trump, North Over calls two diamonds, you maybe were planning to bid two diamonds as a transfer to hearts. Now transfers are off and you just sign off in two hearts. Or with a stronger hand, like at the bottom, you would sign off in four hearts. Um, and those bids are you know, what you would play even if you're not playing transfers. So obviously you need to be familiar with how you bid hands when you're not playing transfers, because if there's an intervening bid, this is how you would uh, bid here. Okay. 
any comments or questions? And I think you can see it's obvious why you have to do that, because um, if you were to play transfers in, in this first situation, then there's no way you could <coughs> sign, sign off sign up to indicate parts. Um, Tony, can I ask a question? And that is, yeah. say, for instance, it was um, one no trump, two diamonds, and instead of the hearts being the strong um, um, suit. suit, it was spades. Now, with seven points, would you be able to still do two spades? Because yes. you've... Yes, you I would still bid two, two okay. spades. Okay, yeah. lovely. Okay, yeah. thank you. Two, two, two spades would say, you know, you want to play it in two spades. It would show some points and at least a five or six card spades. Okay, lovely. Okay. Thank you. There's yes. someone talking lovely. there, so I'm afraid I'm going to mute everyone. It's all right. Sorry. Mute myself. It's all right. Okay. So uh, do I've, I've just muted you all due to the background noise, so do unmute yourselves if you wish to ask a, another question, but try and keep any uh, grandchildren, I think it is, in the background. Um, okay, so that's um, uh, some examples of transfers. One thing to bear in mind when you're playing transfers is that the hand with the longer trump suit was normally become dummy, so sometimes when you're planning the play, it's often useful to do it from the point of view of dummy, the hand with the long trump suit, rather than your own. And we'll look at some... Uh, examples of that in a minute. So um, what I've got here was the uh, questions on the quiz I sent out uh, uh, over the weekend. And these are all examples of how to bid the hands, assuming you have agreed to play transfers. So uh, there are four questions here. And have a uh, look at them and have a little think about what you're going to bid on them. They're not going to be polls. I'm just going to go through them and uh, then go through the answers. So hand one, it goes one no trump. You've got six points. You want to play this one in two hearts. So you bid two diamonds. And when your partner bids two hearts, you pass. Okay. You play it in two hearts. The second one, you have a six card heart suit you have enough points for game here so you again you transfer to two hearts and when your partner bids two hearts you bid four hearts on that one okay so you'll end up in two hearts on the first one four hearts on the second any questions on that and then the next two questions this time you've got hands with a five card um, major. So the first one, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. That should be enough points for game. You show this by transferring to hearts. You bid two diamonds, your partner bids two hearts. And now you show your five card, um, that you started with exactly five cards with enough points for game by rebidding three no trump okay and on the second example there question four you have one two three four five seven nine ten eleven twelve points so here you show the same distribution five card heart suit but you invite game by rebidding uh two no trump giving your partner the choice of what to bid there and on that first one there question three your partner will either pass three no trump or bid four hearts if they've got three or more hearts. And on the second question, question four, they will either pass two no trump if they want to play it there, bid three no trump if they've got a stronger hand, or put you back into hearts. They can bid four hearts if they think they've got enough for game, or three hearts would say they don't really want to bid game but they uh, want to play it in hearts, three hearts, rather than two no trump. So all those bids are possible after a transfer bid. So, so Tony, it's Mohini. Can I just ask a question? So, so on a transfer, with the responder saying three no trumps guarantees a five-card major? Correct. Yeah. That's, okay. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Could I ask you something, please, Tony? Yeah. Number three there, 
you bid three no trumps even though you haven't got a balanced hand no that's right so your 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 goal here is to play in either three no trump or four hearts depending on whether you have an eight card fit in hearts or not um your hand is reasonably balanced i know you've got two double pins but your partner should have a reasonably balanced hand as well and generally speaking if you have enough points for game you either want to be in three no trump here or in uh, four hearts if you've got an eight card fit in hearts or better so if you're worried about the you know lack of um, balance in your hand I, I wouldn't worry about it you generally want to be in in game you don't want to miss out on game and you know there's no real way to find out exactly what's in your partner's hand but what you can do is show that you have uh, a five card heart suit and give your partner a choice of games three no trump or four hearts any other questions on that so um in a moment we're going to uh play some hands involving transfers just before we do that i just want to show you how you're meant to be alerting and announcing on uh, bbo so as i mentioned on bbo um your alerting is self-alerting and i want to just show you how to do that so have a look at this hand here where south is dealer and we're going to start by bidding this hand showing you how to alert um, alert your bids so the south hand here has got 14 points and is fairly balanced it's 4432 distribution so we're going to open one no trump and we're going to announce our point range for that this is what you're meant to do you're meant so the way to do that is to click here on the one and then before you complete the bid put in an explanation of the bid which is 12 to 14. and once you've done that you then complete the bid by clicking on one no trump and your uh, opponents will then see an explanation of the one no trump if they'll get a message like that saying one no trump your partner doesn't see that but your um, that's for the benefit of your opponents and if this message pops up and you want it to go away just click on the white part here to make the uh, message go away now the next person here will pass west will pass here and it comes over to North, who has got uh, five points and wants to sign off in two spades. But playing transfers, instead of bidding two spades, he's going to bid two hearts and his partner's going to complete the transfer. So the way to alert that is you um, start by typing your bid here. And we're about to bid two hearts as a transfer to spades. So I'm going to write here. Um, on the where next click on the alert button and then where it says explain I'm going to say that it's a transfer to spades just one word you can say as spades and then I'm going to make my bid of two hearts okay and that's what the opponents will see they'll see that two hearts is a transfer to spades your partner doesn't see that east passes you, yeah could you just run through that again Tony please okay what the whole thing yes please <laughs> uh the alert thing yeah it's very small on my screen i can't really see it okay so right. so let's go let's go back here um so north here is about to bid two hearts as a transfer to spades yeah so he's going to bid two and then before he clicks on the hearts he's going to click here on on alert at the bottom and give an say the explanation and he's going to type in spades and then he's okay. going to complete the bid by clicking on two hearts and then the opponents will see that um message pop up that two hearts is a transfer to space is it is it always in that space on the top right hand corner 
it will look slightly different um, on your screen. It will be somewhere on the screen. This is, um, I, I'm not playing a game here, I'm sort of demonstrating it. So it looks slightly different. And it doesn't, it normally takes up more of the screen here. But th this is this is the same, this is how you will learn. Um, and then you click on this white thing here if you want that thing to go away. Um, then the next person will pass. And then, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened here. Um, let me just get that away. And then uh, south will will be two spades. And there's no alert. There's no transfer for that. You just bid two spades there. Thank you. And that then completes the uh, auction. Totally okay. Right. So that's how you would bid this hand. Um, let's actually have a look at that hand and how the play would go on it. So let me uh, switch to the next tab. Okay. Now it's um, going slowly today for some reason. <clears throat> Give it a moment, hopefully it will uh, bring back into life. Okay. So that's fine. Just trying to get there. Here we go. Okay, so um, here's, the, uh, here's the hand again. And we're just going to, I've just set it up here so that we'll actually replay it. So this is the one no trump vid. And north, as I said, bids two hearts as a transfer to spades, south bids two spades, and that ends the auction. Okay, and uh, let's assume that west leads the queen of clubs on this one, and let's have a look at it and see what your plan is going to be. As I mentioned, when you're playing transfers, it's normally the hand with the long trump suit that is a dummy and it's a good idea to look at the hand from North's point of view here to try to work out where you're in danger of losing tricks. So let's have a look at it and see if you can tell me how many potential losers you think North has. Look at each suit one at a time and then tell me how many losers you think you might have all together. Four. Four. Any, yeah, any other thoughts? Five. 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 Let's, let's have a look. In the north hand, we've got one spade loser, mm -hmm. one heart loser, because we've got the ace there, one diamond loser. And in this hand, we've actually got the ace is going to take care of one of these, and we're left with two potential club losers. Okay? So... Um, so it's still a bit noisy there, if you can uh, stop that background noise. Um, so you have two potential club losers. But those of you who've said maybe you've got four losers are maybe thinking that you can rough one of those clubs in the south hand. And that is, in fact, what we're going to do on this hand. We're going to aim to rough one of those clubs in the south hand. If we don't rough one of those clubs and we just draw trumps, which, as you can see, will take three rounds, we will lose two uh, clubs. And we'll, we'll just make our contract, but we can make one more if we're able to rough a club. So that's what we're going to do on this end. If the opponents lead a club, let's um, win this. And are you going to draw trumps now? No. We're not going to do it right at this moment because, remember, we want to rough a club. In fact, what we probably want to do is play a club straight back. Okay, play a club. We'll lose that. The opponents will probably think, why am I doing this? And they might switch to a trump. So they could play the ace. Um, uh, maybe draw another trump. But we can get in. And now we're in a position to rough that last club, which we can rough with the Queen of Spades. OK, and now we've done that. All we want to do is try to draw the last trump, which isn't quite straightforward because we need to get to the north hand. But we might try to get there with a heart rough. Or if the opponents get in, they might 
finally get there with a, a roughing a heart, draw that last trump finally, so they can't rough with it. And then we've got the last uh, two trumps. And played that way, you should be able to make um, exactly nine tricks on that one. And the two spades will probably do a lot better than one no trump. A lot of beginners with this hand and the partner opens one no trump, they just want to pass with only four points. But if the opponents defend well against one no trump, you may struggle to make it. Let's just see what happens if um, if you if you let let it be played in one no trump. So the opponents again might start with a club. Eventually you're going to win a club. And obviously your goal here is to set up the spades. But can you see that if East <coughs> doesn't take their ace, if East in fact lets you win the first two spades, then if you play a last spade, now you're going to be cut off from dummy and you won't be able to make those spade tricks. So now what can happen is that East will maybe switch back to a club. East West can take some club tricks, um, maybe play a diamond. South is going to get in at some point with the ace of diamonds, but cannot get to the jack and nine of spades. So the best they can do is um, probably just to take one more heart, which they're going to make eventually with their ace, and uh, could only make five tricks. So rather than the nine tricks you were able to make in two spades, if the opponents defend well against you, you'll only make five tricks in one no trump. So um, it is very, especially on a hand like this where you're very weak, it is often better to play in uh, two of a suit rather than one no trump. Any comments or questions on that? What we're going to do now then is switch to the uh, BBO game. So uh, I'm going to just show you, for those of you who don't remember how to find the game, how, how you're going to do that. We're going to, uh, let's go here to the uh, home screen and we're going to click on the competitive. And here on free tournaments, and then here in the top right hand corner, type my name, T O N Y, and you should come up with this uh, screen. Click on the white name to join the event. And then you're going to join the event in one of two ways. If there's someone you want to play with, invite them here by typing their name and click on invite. Or if you'd like to play but don't have a partner yet, click on partnership desk and either add your name or if you see someone on here you can invite them there and once you've done all that you can click back here on entries and you should, that will confirm who's already joined the game there okay so i'm going to stop sharing my screen with you now and if you go ahead and join the event and i'll give you all a few minutes to log in and to register for the event and we're going to be uh we're going to be uh, doing 